This program is proudly brought to you by Bianco Building Supplies, helping to build South Australian football. Here we go. Good evening everyone, I'm Nat Adamopoulos and this is Full On Football, the only local TV show that promotes local South Australian football. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all those people that emailed us about our new set. Everyone loved it, so uh, it's great to hear and thank you very much for taking the time to do that. Look, Adelaide scorched its way to the longest hot spell on record in the past uh, eight, eight or nine days and there's still hot, more hot weather to come. Uh, games are being rescheduled, those that are normally at 3pm for the first round are being rescheduled but we'll tell you all about that later on in the show. Uh, and speaking of hot, temperatures are very hot here in the studio as well. Tonight is our Super League preview show and joining us are some people who may just feel the heat with their 2008 Super League campaigns. In the hot seat tonight as special guest panellist. Well, he's a man who's played at Super League and NSL level. He's represented South Australia. He was a part of the inaugural Adelaide United Football Club squad in 2003-2004. And uh, he also played over in the Victorian League last year for Dandenong. And it's his back home, just where we like to see him, this time playing for Metro Stars. We welcome for the very first time to full on football, wearing the new club's uh, casual wear. Lewis Brain. Afternoon, how are you? Good, thank you. Thanks a lot for coming along too and, uh, and we're glad that you were able to come to Full On Football. Um, <clears throat> look, I'm going to ask you because everybody asks me this question. You played over in the Victoria last year. Um, what's the competition like in, compar in comparison to our league here? I was actually playing in the Victorian uh, Premier League, which is the league below the Super League. Um, and while I was over there, I did notice that the standard was probably mid-table to what the, the Super League here in South Australia is um, but I did get a chance to go out and watch the, the Super League over in Melbourne and I do feel that it is a, it is, it is a higher standard and mm. um, there's a lot more people around the clubs uh, helping out behind the scenes and people are more committed and is that a little bit more professional than, than what I believe the, the league over here is. Yeah, from what I've heard I'd have to agree with you there. Um, <clears throat> look, I have to say your season launch on Saturday night and thank you very much to Metro Stars for inviting me along. It was a great night, um, fantastic strips, I love the new strips and uh, <coughs> it was a really good time by all, a really great bonding uh, session for everybody before the season starts. Yes it was, it was a, a very, an excellent night that everyone had fun. Um, we had the magician there, the illusionist, should I say, and then we launched our new strips, um, which I don't think many people are going to miss us on the park this no, year. I but don't think so. um, yeah, it, it was a good night, and I think everyone there had a had a fun night as well. Yeah, it was. It was a great night, and as you said, we're not going to miss you out on the pitch because they're fantastic strips. Let me tell you that now. Now our next guest, well, he coached his team to become the 2007 champions of the Premier League last year. They were promoted to the Super League and they're the new boys in the league this year. In his playing days, a defender who was consistently reliable, winning balls in difficult situations by his strong tackles and a positional sense. He played 243 NSL games for Adelaide City, 1985 Rothman's Best and Ferris Player Medal winner, 2007 Premier League Coach of the Year, and I have to say one of SA football legends, Great to have him back on Full On Football, coach of Croydon Kings, Paul Shillabue. Thank you, Natalie. It's well, good to be back. Yeah, fantastic to have you. Um, look, a tremendous job last year that you did. Uh, you, you, you did lose a few key players from the side to, to begin with, but uh, the players that you had really stepped up and, well, we saw what the rewards were at the end of the season. It was a good season for us last year. We, uh, we, we got a few extra players in and that made a little bit of difference to us but uh, I guess we've been pushing for the last two or three years and uh, this year we, we really went out and, and were determined to, to get ourselves back into that Super League where, where Croydon belonged and we, we managed to do it by the end of the season which was great. 
And I have to say, you almost did a clean sweep at the FFSA Awards, the 2007 Awards last year, which uh, shows fantastic depth in the whole club. Look, that's the pleasing point about Croydon at the moment, that the 19s won the championship last year, had the player of the year. The, uh, the reserves missed out on one by one point to a team that didn't lose a game all season, mm. um, had again had the player of the year, and we managed to get to, to uh, promotion as well. So we, we probably go into that Super League with not just the, the senior team being strong, but uh, the, the, the backbone and the rest of the squads are going to be uh, challenging to push us forward as well, which, which for the future gives us a great, a, a great opportunity to, to stay there, I think. And I must say that, I, and I did mention this last time you were on, the Cup games last year were fantastic and I remember on Anzac Day watching your young lads, they were all, you basically you only had three or four starting mm. of your starting 11 in the squad uh, with, again, up against Campbelltown and they did a fantastic job, even though they didn't end up winning, but it was a fantastic job. Look, they did well. I mean, I, I think any, generally any young player who gets an opportunity to play at a senior level always lifts themselves up another level. But uh, it was good for me because it really showed me what I had in, in I guess, in reserve um, that I could develop in the next couple of years to, to be first team players. And uh, for me, it's, it's pretty reassuring to know that I've got players I can just go and pull out of the younger, younger age groups and so forth that can probably step up. Oh, well, it's ideal for a coach, isn't it? Now, <clears throat> you don't like giving away too much, I said to you today. You keep your cards close to your chest. I want to try and pull those cards away from your chest today. Um, basically asking about the players and, and, and your squad for this year. Um, first of all, have you been able to retain most of the 2007 players? I know you've lost a few. Look, probably the main player we, lo we lost was um, Michael Edwards, who's, who's gone to Port Pirie, and, and that was for a number of reasons. Um, but we've managed to gain um, probably a number of players that are uh, reasonably experienced in Damien Stam, um, Andy Lean, um, Yanni Saris and uh, Michael Mustrapala who's come from Enfield. Um, apart from that we really haven't lost any other players so I've, we, we've got a fairly large squad uh, and I tend to like doing that because as the season rolls on being you know, semi-professional if, if for want of a better word the season takes its toll on our players and then by the end you're struggling sometimes to get a, to get a, a good squad on the park. Um, so I believe in having a strong, a strong squad, a big squad, but a, a squad that it's happy to take any part in the in the season. You know, they have to understand that sometimes they're not going to start a game. You know, they have to sit on the bench, or they maybe have to play reserves. But if you've got a good bonding session with or a good session of of group of players, that doesn't become a problem. At the end of the season, it's an asset that you've got because you can pull on that strength. Because guaranteed, towards the end of the season, there'll be you know three or four players that are suspended, injured, mm. you know, just totally worn out and not performing, and you, you've got that opportunity to choose other players. Oh, that's fantastic on your behalf.